What's up guys, the X-Hike is bringing us another Black Ops 2 commentary. Now, on this map, we're on the map Hijack, playing multi-team again, hard points, and I'm going in with the A94 as I got this sexy, beast-looking dragon camo. It looks so good with the multi lava on it. Got the little orange, yellowish, goldish-looking flavor color to it. It looks so good, tastes good, smells good even looks good too but uh yeah so get off that topic right there but uh man i just can't look at that look at that look how good the gun looks and look how it's melting kids and yeah so i'm playing the map hijacked and i pretty much love this map it's a great map addition to black ops 2 to call of duty the call of duty franchise and and i wouldn't mind seeing this game or this map and Call of Duty Ghosts. It might be good for it, might be bad for it, who knows, but uh, let's talk about Call of Duty Ghosts. So, besides the fact of this gameplay, I'm going to give you guys a quick throw on this. I do get a 39 gun streak with the A94, with the nuclear. I got the V-Set, the UAV, and the counter up. Not Sorry, not the V-Set. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing. Sorry, I got the UAV, I'm sitting I got the UAV, counter UAV, and the V-Set. I don't have EMP. That's the only thing I made a mistake about. But uh, So, I do going to quick little crazy gun streak, 39 kills. Uh, playing with I think my little brother I'm not sure but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for that but uh, to, to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts now my big problem that I pretty much have with Call of Duty Ghosts right off the back is that they don't have theater mode and you guys might say this might be a big thing because some guys may hear a lot of issues with theater mode because they say theater mode is what brought lag conversation into the game because there's a certain kind of lag uh, comp lag delay between the game because they gotta record your live footage when you play the game and save it while you're playing and that can some people say that's pretty much cause a lag but that's pretty much a small percentage of the lag it is like not even a one percent cause a lag in black ops 2 or any call of duty but uh some people think it's because the reason of lag compensation but i disagree uh theater mode was a great addition black ops 1 theater mode was so great mw3 theater mode was so great black ops 2 the theater mode was kind of iffy, but I still loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, you, that means you didn't, if you guys didn't have an Elgato, you didn't have to live record every time you are playing the game. Because I do have the Hawpaw 2, so they don't have that ghost playback feature where you can just go back and uh, uh, have that automatic record live at all times. You just go back and select what clip that you want to have in it and record that automatically. Click save, but um, unfortunately I don't have that. And a lot of people who don't have HTTP VRs have friends that record their gameplays. There's a lot of clans who do sniper montages that they uh, bookmark their clips and they put in their uh, vault. Have their uh, clan leaders or clan members or editors record that gameplay for them and put in montages. And I think that's kind of weird that Quality Ghost is not putting theater mode into their game. They could be a big hit or it could be a big miss. I'm not too sure. And uh, there has been some complete sayings that they are not put in theater mode into Call of Duty Ghost, but they, who knows, we have not really seen the the real version of Call of Duty Ghost yet. People have been playing the PC build of it at like Gamescon, uh, a, a different a bunch of uh, games like Eurogamer, different events like that, and there was not any kind of theater mode in there. But uh, who knows, they could put theater mode in there at the last minute. We guys, will we won't find out until the game is actually released. But uh, if they don't have theater mode in there, that's going to be a huge miss. Because for us YouTubers, uh, it could be a bad thing, but it could be also a good thing. Let's say, uh, give you guys the first cons of that. So let's say your gameplay channel, and you just got pretty much the, wor the world's first quad nuke or quad nuclear or something like that. And you, di you didn't record live, and then you lose a pretty much an extremely good gameplay. And you get a uh, miss out of posting that to your channel because you want live recording. And that can be a downfall, but uh, the plus side of this is that if there isn't any theater mode, it causes people to buy more hop hogs. It, so there are a certain amount of YouTubers out there who post good content because not um, some random people can just use like theater mode to upload YouTube off that or have theater mode and have someone else record the gameplays that are pretty much not as much popular. So there won't be as much uh youtubers posting call of duty videos because you go on youtube there's so many people posting call of duty there's thousands of quality commentators are posting gameplay videos out there on, on call of duty and that can pretty much make that a smaller number so it'd be easier for uh channels to get their out get their ch channel out there like mine because i'm a small channel around almost thousand subscribers but i have a recording device and it can help me out me out a lot so a lot of people who don't have a recording device help me out a lot but uh, you guys, just please leave comments down below saying what you think of this. 
do you think Cody Ghost should have theater mode or shouldn't have theater mode? And if you guys pretty much enjoyed this gameplay, give it a like, train, subscribe, really follow me on Twitter. This is X Tigers, and I'll see you guys next time on next commentary. And I'll see you guys later. I'm out, yo. Peace.